Hello, second year, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, you know, the big day has arrived. Llegó el gran día. Today we have the uh, global exam. Yes, ya estamos a mitad de año. Podemos medir esto del global exam con estar a mitad de año. Yes, pudimos. Yes, okay. Well done for you. Okay, so pay attention now. Yes, I want you to um, pay attention to these tips. Okay, primero. Vas a hacerlo al examen solo. You are going to do it alone, without any kind of help. Yes? Uh, no cell phones, no dictionaries, no activity books. Yes? No uh, class books. Yes? Okay? No dictionaries. Okay? Is it clear? No any other help. Yes? Any other kind of help. Ahora necesito que hagas el examen as if you were in the class. This is the first exam. Este es el primer examen que se hace fuera de la institución. Así que voy a apelar a que vos seas honesto con vos mismo y honesto conmigo, con nosotros. ¿Está? Lo vas a hacer solito. Que no te ayude mamá, papá, ningún hermano, nadie. ¿Yes? Saca el celular, saca todo fuera de la vista. ¿Sí? Only the pencil case on the table. Siempre te decimos no uses corrector, pero ahora en este, en este, um, en, en este caso no hace falta eso porque es, es online. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Te vas a medir el tiempo. Vas a traerte un, un glass of water, vas a poner ya un vaso de agua en tu de escritorio, una hora y media para el examen, como si estuvieras acá. No te vas a estar levantando a cada rato, anda al toilet ya, y después te pones en ese lugar, en your bedroom, en un lugar donde haya silence. Yes, ok, because an important uh, exam is in progress. Ok, is it clear? Entonces, todos estos tips quiero que los tengas en cuenta. Yes, is it clear? Controlar, chequear todo. Y primero vamos a empezar por la composición. Acuérdate que siempre empezamos por la composición. Yes, ok. Uh, wait a minute. Voy a poner la palabra choose con red para que te quede claro. Lo hago más grande, inclusive. Ok, y si quieres, choose one. Choose one, yes, choose one of the following compositions, yes, topics and rights. Oh, in narration, last weekend, okay, so bad, married, couple, match, low fat, yes, or B, you are in Miami on holidays, write an email to your best friend, mass words, Exciting, also shop assistant, nephew. Okay? Uh, a hundred words, no more than a hundred words. Okay? Is it clear? Yes? All right? También te voy a poner en rojo esto. Yes? Right? Y lo vamos a agrandar un poquito más. Okay? Uh, otra cosa, must words must be underlined, que tenés eso en el cuadro de abajo. Okay, mass words must be underlined. And then you have the listening part. I'm going to do the listening then, but first of all, I'm going to explain everything. All the tests. Is it clear? Yes, but you are going to start with the composition. Okay, but choose. All the narration last weekend. So, but, married couple, match, low fat. You have to include these words, yes? Okay, I'm going to put uh, these words in red too. Yes, ok, don't forget to include the mass words. Or, yes, entonces, elegí con cuál te sientas más cómodo. If you feel more comfortable with the narration, you write the narration. If you feel more comfortable with the, comfortable with the email, you write the email. Ok, is it clear? Yes, ok. Remember, you have one hour and a half. Yes, ok. It means... It means more or less 20, maximum 25 minutes, yes, you have to uh, take for writing the composition, okay? 20 minutes to write and 5 minutes to check. No more than 25 minutes. Is it clear? Yes, no more than 25 minutes, okay? Porque si no te va a faltar para el otro. Quiero que te tomes el tiempo. Yes? Porque ahora vos decís, ay, yo lo voy a hacer en tres horas, lo hago un poquito hoy, otro poquito mañana. No. 
eso no va a estar bien. El tema es sentarte, vos decís, ahora lo voy a hacer, y te contás una hora y media cronometrada, como si estuvieras acá. ¿Yes? Voy a apelar a que lo hagas como te pido, ¿sí? a que seas honesto, a que no mires ninguna cosa, a que no te ayudes con algo, que no te ayude nadie, lo tenés que hacer solo o sola, ¿está? Entonces, hoy voy a estar en tu conciencia, voy a ser la voz de tu conciencia, ¿ok? ¿Is it clear? Así que eh, espero que lo hagas así como te pido. Llévate un glass of water and that before go, before to the toilet, yes, and concentrate. A hundred words, ojo ahí, ¿eh? No me paso del número de palabras, ¿ok? Uh, then you have the listen, listen and complete the sentence, it will be a simultaneous listening, Yes, but let's go to the first part. I will explain everything and then I will go to the listening. Is it clear? Good. Remember to put the name and the date, uh, the name and the teacher's name and the student's name in all the pages, por favor. All the pages. Read, yes, and answer the following questions. You have to read about Martin's vacations. You have to answer this question. Remember to see, yes, was he upset? Where was, did the taxi, did he miss, what did the airline promise, and you have information in the text, but read and identify in what tense the questions are. The questions are, complete the sentences using vocabulary, the first word is, the first letter, the first letter is given as a help, yes, as a help. D, you have to read the following paragraph and correct the mistake. The mistakes are highlighted as a help. In exercise D, in letter D, you have to make questions. Yes, okay, my young sister can sing beautifully. A and B, yes, two at seven, A. Remember, W, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, okay? And then, Mary went to Disney, yes, okay? And identify, primero identificar en qué tiempo está, en qué gramática está, con qué gramática estamos preguntando. Choose the correct alternative, remember to choose, voy a elegir cualquiera, eh? and write the answer there. Circle the option and write, circle the option and write, okay? Then you have to complete the following sentences using uh, the most suitable verb tense, remember to highlight, see? All the, um, the adverbs, last holiday, yesterday, ok? Is it clear? W, auxiliar sujeto verbo, si es una pregunta, auxiliar sujeto de verbo, si es una yes no question, conjugar los verbos, fijarte en qué tiempo va, analizar y después completar, yes? Is it clear? Good. And then we have the writing and the listening, ok? Are you ready for the listen? So, this listening... Is simultaneous. It means that you have, um, you can write at the same time. Puedes escribir al mismo tiempo que la teacher va leyendo. Okay? Is it clear? Good. Good. All right. So, uh, good luck. Yes. Acordate de hacer todo esto. Esto es un entrenamiento. Tienes que hacer como te pido, porque si no vamos a llegar a estancias de exámenes finales y no vas a estar entrenado. Así que atención. All right, dear me, Emily, how are you? I hope you are well. I'm writing to tell you about my holiday. It's total disaster. It's a total disaster. The plane was 10 hours late and we got here at about four o'clock on Sunday morning. The next day, I went to the beach for a swim. However, it's miles from the hotel and it's crowded. The sea is freezing and polluted. There's chemical factory. There's a chemical factory next to the beach. The hotel is terrible too. In the brochure, it says all the room had excellent views of the sea. From my room, all I can see is the hotel car park. The swimming pool was also lovely in the brochure, but it's very small and full of noisy children. My room is terrible. It's dirty in the morning. 
I found, I found an enormous cockroach in the shower and there is a noisy family next to me. I'm eating a sandwich in my room at the moment because the waiters in the restaurant are rude and unfriendly. The food is terrible. Yesterday, there was a fly in my salad. It was disgusting. Well, it's time for bed. I like to shower, but of course, there's no hot water tonight. And I can't watch a film because the television doesn't work. I can wait to get home. See you soon, George. Okay, I will repeat for the second time. Are you ready? So remember this is simultaneous. Yes, so it means that you can do it at the same time the teacher is reading. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. Good. Dear Emily, how are you? I hope you are well. I'm writing to tell you about my holiday. It's a total disaster. The plane was 10 hours late and we got here at about 4 o'clock on Sunday morning. The next day, I went to the beach for a swim. However, it's miles from the hotel and it's crowded. The sea is freezing and it's polluted. There's a chemical factory next to the beach. The hotel is terrible too. In the brochure, it says all the it said all the rooms have excellent views of the, of the sea. From my room, all I can see is the hotel car park. The swimming pool was also lovely in the brochure, but it's small, it's very small and full of noisy children. My room is terrible. It's dirty and this morning I found an enormous cockroach in the shower and there is a noisy family next to me. I am eating a sandwich in my room at the moment because the waiters in the restaurant are rude and unfriendly. The food is terrible. Yesterday there was a fly in my salad. It was disgusting. Well, it's time for bed. I'd like to have a shower, but of course, there's no hot water tonight and I can't watch a film because the television doesn't work. I can wait to get home. See you soon, George. Okay? So that was all. Yes, I, um, I wish you good luck. Yes, uh, organize everything. Yes, uh, be conscious, be responsible. See you next time. See you next class. And um, good luck. Bye-bye. See you next class.